three records yeah. that changed your life? Um, never mind, because it did, you know, definitely Nirvana. Uh, and I, and never mind more than in utero, because never mind was the one that I got into first. Um, definitely. And then everything that you, I like comes from that. So like liking things like, you know, like Nation of Ulysses and the Wipers and Unwound and Fugazi and all that kind of stuff. It all comes from Nirvana. Whereas for a lot yeah. of people, I think other things came from Nirvana, but that definitely for me. And then um, not a record, but a video. Uh, 1991, the year punk broke, the Sonic Youth video. Have you ever seen that? No, I've not seen it. No. Documentary film by Dave, Dave Markey. It's a, a documentary of their 1991 tour. So it's got Nirvana, Babes in Toyland, Dinosaur, you know, Gumball and all this stuff on it. I could probably give you every single spoken word from that video now. I could recite it. But it starts out with a sonic use on schizophrenia, a live version of schizophrenia. And that's like, you know, like I said before about Nirvana, game over. As soon as you've heard that, if you're like 14 or 15 and you hear Sonic Youth doing schizophrenia on that video, it's like, that's it. You're going to be buying a Fender Jaguar soon and your life is ruined. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bank account ruined. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like this is, this is it. You are never, you're going to be playing in stupid tunings. You're going to be making music that no one likes for the rest of your life. You know, game over. But that's <laughs> first people. like... Yeah, basically, that first five minutes of, of the year punk broke, the documentary is like, man, like and that. Yeah, so good. So those two. And then I was thinking about the other ones. I was thinking, like, Rid of Me by PJ Harvey, just because it's like, that's that's how I imagine a three piece band to be. That's how I imagine like guitar, bass, and drums sort of work. Um, but maybe the other one, I, I was trying, I think Life Changing Record is. It's not so much like I was blown away by it, but it I always referenced Last Splash by the Breeders. I think maybe did House mention it in his thing? Yeah, yeah, he said he wanted to be like definitely have a thing like asked him like what band would he want to be in if he could be. Oh yeah, he said the Breeders, yeah. But I think Last Splash by the Breeders is that got me into like music production and and sound and and how to make something and loads of people really like the first one i do too and the first breeders album pod's amazing but last splash is there's some decisions in there sonically that you're like what did they what did they do that for there's bad <laughs> things in it that are perfect you know that, that and, and it got me away from that thing of you got to record everything exactly as it sounds in the room everything has to be a document of what it is it got me into record production and i think like kim deal is a total genius like an absolute genius for that like way more than she ever gets credit for but that one changed my life in terms of i think every record i've done since there's going to be there's been some point when i'm mixing it or recording it where mm. i've referenced that album in my head yeah. somehow yeah yeah last splash definitely um yeah but there's loads of there's loads of life changing records, isn't there? I think they tend to they tend to come earlier in your life, rather than yeah. I, I'm sure they've popped up uh, in your in your chats with uh you did one with Joe, didn't you? His uh, I'm sure you, you you covered a few of them in that in that episode. Yeah, it's hard, but then but then I also thought like I thought I thought like genuinely life changing stuff can come a bit later on, and and if I think it, there's one as well I was going to mention, which is uh, the Unanimous Hour by Lungfish. Uh, that, Longfish, yeah. No, then. I remember because I was writing that fanzine. Southern Records would always Southern Records distributed Discord, and they would always send me all the new releases on Discord and on Southern and on Touch and Go and stuff. So I'd get these things to review, and I could never work out why Longfish were on Discord. I was always like, "This is not good music," you know. This is like I was really into like technically crazy things, you know. Like I wanted I wanted music to be all like hard to play and weird. Right. Yeah, wee time signatures and yeah. Yeah, and and lungfish is just when the riff you get at the start of the song is the song, right? And that's all it is. It's just a. And I remember just being like, I don't get why this. I don't get why they've sent me this. I don't understand it. And then I remember yeah. taking a very long car journey through the fence. I was driving back to my mum's house, so it was kind of like through all these fields and stuff. And I had that unanimous hour record on, and it like I can't think of another record ever making quite that much sense to me again 
I was like, oh, I get it. I totally get it. Like it, it clicked, like an epiphany yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, I remember thinking, oh, they want it to be like this. They're not, they're not unable to come up with other bits. They want, and then once you get past that, I mean, I was only mm. like, hearing this, I was only what? I don't know, like 24 or something. I don't know, whatever. But, you know, it made me realize you could be unique, not by the number of notes you can play or the way that you do something. You know, you could just be really like classy, <laughs> you know, mm, mm. this beautiful music is, is entirely their own. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm, they are like, I'm such a huge fan of that band and it changed my life because it made me realize that I didn't have to cram 50 things into three minutes of music. I could just sit back and enjoy things a bit. And that's very much what I've done since, you know, <laughs> yeah, much more yeah. economical. These riffs aren't going to last forever. Just make them nice and economical, you know, like, yeah. Anyway, yeah, they're, they're about seven records. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short video. You can catch the full episode linked in the bottom left-hand corner at the end of this video, or you can find the link in the description below. I need your support. I'm a very new podcast. I only have around 100 subs or so. So if you could please like this video, and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, that will help push my videos up in the algorithm and expand the reach of my videos. So, yeah, thanks for that. And uh, see you next time. Mm -hmm.